what is going on guys thanks for checking out this video my sports gamatria in this video i'm gonna go over a college basketball game for tuesday december 27 2022 i'm gonna show you highlights of each side and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers i encouraged i encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick and i wish you guys the best luck on all your picks for today let's go ahead and get to the game we're going to be looking at Seton Hall versus Marquette uh, in Milwaukee. Marquette's a seven-point favorite at home. Uh, it's the smallest line that's showing for Tuesday, so uh, that's the game that I'm just gonna I'm gonna do. It's the shortest line that I can find for college basketball on this day. So we'll just do that game. On this side of the screen is what I call my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew calendar. And then on this side of the screen is what I call my game numbers, numbers specific to the game. The way they have it structured here is I have the road team up top, their coach's record, their season record, their road record, as well as their conference record for the season. In the middle is the all-time head-to-head record between the two teams. And then at the bottom is the home team, their season record, their home record, their conference record, as well as their coach's record. Very similar to my NBA setup. If you guys have seen a handful of my NBA videos, exact same setup. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and jump into the game. Of course, I'm going to go over the home team first, why I like the home team, and then I'll go over the road team on why I like the road team. So we're going to show you both sides, uh, home and road. All right, so starting with the home team, some numbers to, for the home team to win. Marquette, it's the 14th game for Seton Hall for the season. It's the 14th game for Marquette for the season. If you write out the number 14, 14 written out sums to 104, like 104. And that's what their record could be. It could be 10 and 4 for the season with the win. It's a day with 81 date numerology on the Gregorian. They could become 8-1 and one at home, like 81 with the win. Uh, they can sit on 13 all-time head-to-head losses against Seton Hall. As Seton Hall becomes 1-3, like 13 uh, on the road with the loss. Today with 45 at date numerology on the Gregorian. 13 written out sums to 45 and two of the four base ciphers. And then uh, there is 61 date numerology on the Gregorian. Seton Hall coach can get a 61st loss for his career regular season. And uh, one last thing for Marquette. Uh, it is the third day of the 10th month for the Hebrew religious side of the calendar, 310. And their coach can get his 301st win as a coach regular season uh, for his career, 301, 310. They're just anagrams of each other. And um, I think that's what I would put for the home team here. Oh, no, one last thing. It's the uh, 14th game, ninth home game for Marquette, 14-9, 14-9. If you put those together, 14-9, 14, 14 and 9. You see that it's the 35th prime number. It's the 35th all-time head-to-head matchup between these two teams. Seton Hall can become 7-7 seven and seven for a season record with a loss, like 77. And if you write out 77, it sums to 149, the 35th prime number. And so that's what I would put for the home team to win this game. Let's go ahead and move on to the road team. What would it take for the road team to win this game, Seton Hall? Sorry to interrupt this video, you guys, but I need a huge favor from you. Can you go ahead and like this video and leave a comment below on who you think is going to win? It's going to help with the YouTube algorithm. It's going to help grow my channel. I really appreciate you guys being here. Let's go ahead and get back into the video. So starting off, this, the, how we I, how I started off similar in the beginning, it's the 14th game for Seton Hall. It's the 14th game for Marquette. Uh, Seton Hall can get their 14th all-time head-to-head win against them. Uh, and they would sit on 21 all-time head-to-head losses with the win as Seton Hall becomes 1-2 for a conference record, as Marquette becomes 1-2 for a conference record, 12-12, 21, uh, 21 and 12. They're just reflections of each other. It is the 269th day of the Hebrew religious side of the calendar, a day leaving 86 left. Seton Hall can become 8-6, and six, like 86, for a season record with a, a win. Marquette would become 9-5 and five with a loss, 95. 95 
sums to 57, and 269 is the 57th prime number. It's a day with 61 date numerology on the Gregorian, the 18th prime number, a day with 18 date numerology on the Gregorian. Marquette coach, he can get his 18th loss as a coach specifically for Marquette. Uh, you can even write out the 18, 18 sums to 46 and 35, it being the 35th head-to-head -head matchup between these two and um, it being his 46th game coaching as a coach specifically for Marquette, as well as his 460th the regular season game. 4-6, you see that 4-6 in there, 4-6. He can get his 18th loss, 18 sums of 46, and 35. 35th head-to-head -head matchup between these two. Um, Seton Hall coach, he can be, get a 72nd win for his career as Marquette becomes 7-2, and two, like 72, at home for the season with a loss. And um, that's about what I would have for this game. That's what I would about have. Not a long video at all. Very quick. Very straight to the point. We can go over it one more time. You got 14th. It's both these teams' 14th game. Either Marquette's going to become 10 and 4, 14 sums to 104, or Seton Hall's going to get that 14th all-time head-to-head win. Today, with 45 date numerology on the Gregorian, 13 written out sums to 45. Marquette can sit on 13 all-time losses against Seton Hall with the win, as Seton Hall becomes 1 and 3 on the road. Seton Hall coach can get that 61st loss. Marquette could get become 8-1, like 81 at home. 61 and 81 date numerology on the Gregorian. Vice versa. It's the 269th day of the Hebrew religious. They leave an 86 left. Seton Hall could become 8 and 6. Marquette 9 and 5. 95 sums of 57. 269 to 57th prime. Seton Hall could become 7 and 7. 77 sums to 149, the 35th prime, 35th all-time head to head. 14th game for Marquette, ninth home game, like 149. I mean, there's definitely numbers here for both sides. Um, wanted to show that to you guys really quick. Uh, I also have the other game built out, uh, Jacksonville versus Notre Dame. Uh, I'll probably make a pick on that as well. Those are the only two close lines for the uh, the day that I can see. Jacksonville, Notre Dame, 8.5. Marquette, Seton Hall, 7. So I'll make a pick on those two, but... I mostly just did to focus on this game right here for the video. Seton Hall coach can get that 72nd win. Marquette can become 7-2 and two at home with the loss. The coach has that 18. So there's definitely a case for both sides here if you want to make it. Uh, but, yeah, this is both sides. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it gives you insight to the game, gives you an understanding of what's going on. And uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the support. My picks will always be in writing, underlined, and italicized on my Patreon page. Uh, and... Um, Hopefully you win all the money in the world. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next video.